what's going on guys it's slider and we are back on sky factory and today we've got some stuff planned we'll see if it actually happens but you know i've always got stuff planned but <clears throat> how it actually turns out it's that's always a toss-up um right now i'm just actually making myself some apple juice so i have some nutrition whoo that feels so fast are those those are rare i want like the epic ones but rare will work too. I don't really want the white ones. I got so many of those that I haven't even opened yet. Anyways, uh, today, today, we're going to touch on a new mod. And we're going to also touch on Batanya. Um, show you a couple changes. I got rid of the little house here that was serving absolutely no purpose. I let the cows loose. Because it's not like they're not all over the place anyways. And I expanded my area. I ran out of dirt and fell a little short right there and I expanded that area over there we're getting bigger we're getting a lot bigger I love all that free dirt down in uh, the deep dark um, it's oh, it's so helpful expanding on the ground and I want to get a little d deeper than just two blocks uh, mostly because of random creeper attacks when I expand and I forget to have torches on me when I'm doing it and then all the mobbies come and try to kill me and I get creeper holes all over the place and uh, they do blow like three to four deep and my dirt's only too deep so they live big old gaping holes but let me show you what we've done okay ignore that piece of junk right there and ignore that colossal thing right there um i wanted a farm and so i figured there's a couple things i'm going to need for batania pretty often um wheat seeds uh some melon we've we've used melon so i thought hey hey what happened to my well, what why do I have melons but not say what's going on what is are cows jumping on my stuff or something where did my seeds go what the heck but anyways um yeah so I started a second building um I wanted to make it look like it's kind of part of the first one and eventually I will extend it you know kind of make it a little bit big, bigger and better or whatever but uh basically I made it look like there was a broken bridge that connects over and I don't, I don't know I think it's very fitting I'll oh, check this out so I just put a whole bunch of pretty flowers in there and it's just kind of decorative over the corner when it's not being used this is kind of a hassle to take them all out but all right so here's the br there's a hole there yes I did make it very much like a broken bridge there's a whole bunch of missing pieces to it um, it does actually connect like you can actually walk from one side to the other and inevitably um, I'm going to expand this side out uh, for whatever else we add in Batania. But for the time being, this is kind of just what it is. It's just a kind of broken bridge uh, in between the two spots. And down there is my farm. Nether wart and sugarcane and melons. And uh, yeah, that's what we got going on over here. Can I fall down safely around here? Not falling on my crops like apparently the cows and stuff have been doing. Woo, be careful. Okay. So anyways, um, just ignore this. This was... I, I th because I was only too deep I tried to make something happen I was working with thermal lilies and they, they do work don't get me wrong um, this setup works relatively okay and I do get a decent amount of mana out of it I mean that's a little over a quarter of mana in probably about like the last hour or two so that's not bad and this setup I actually I, I hate the setup it looks horrible uh, but I was trying to find something productive but this guy right here now there's not a lot in it right now because uh, I think my mining operations have ceased um, but basically I've got co coal piping in from the deep dark uh, through this tesseract and then basically it drops every 30 seconds and uh, these guys eat it up and it's just uh, I don't know, a little bit of redstone work it it was really difficult actually um, because I was trying to get the timing down and you'll watch it happen I needed the the, the signal to be long enough to actually fire this and get it out so you'll see it's an open signal on the top and then there's a slight delay a two tick delay on these um, so it kind of follows behind and uh, that's just long enough to get this to uh, light up and then get those to drop so that is my redstone work over here this is all going to get torn down I have since come up with much better much more compact builds which is what this hole over here is for this hole is going to take place of this guy right here because like I said I could only go too deep and I was limited so I did another little waterfall and uh, well actually I did like four waterfalls to get to the height that I wanted um, I didn't want to go too deep 
but I wanted to be able to get under here. And so, yes, this is the setup for what we're going to be doing later. But the first thing we want to do, I want to check out a new mod. Um, I've made a couple comments about it. Like I keep seeing, um, I keep getting items, like in the loot bags or whatever. And um, I, I wanted to check it out. And so I finally checked it out. It's amazing. It's an amazing decorative yet useful mod that I want to touch on called um, uh, Immersive Engineering. And so basically what I need to start is I need a book and a lever, which I'm pretty sure I have. I don't have a lever, really? Okay. Well, now I have a lever. Um, book. Oh, I should have just grabbed it. Jeez. And the lever. And this will give us our book for immersive engineering. Now, I really, honestly, I can't lie. I know nothing about it other than, I mean, I'm not, I haven't made this book. I haven't looked into it. But uh, there's a couple things I want to get started with is some power. So we've got power, wire, and generators. Um, update news, none. Review and resources. Um, so there's ores added in. Um, copper ore. Copper ingot. Uh, is found in the world between layers 40 and 72, not on this world, and requires a stone pickaxe to harvest it. Well, yeah. Uh, the ore will smell in the copper ingots, which are used in crafting basic copper wires, coils, and other ingredients parts of the IE architecture. Um, Bowlite ore, so I haven't found any of this, is found in the world between layers. So, oh, it just gives you aluminum. Okay which together with steel are used to create high voltage wires. Okay, cool. Um, lead ore we've got, and silver ore we have, nickel ore we have. Um, yeah, so we've, we've, we've got all that stuff, which is good. Um, so ores or processing, alloys. Okay, so basically uh, construction. I know one of the first things that we're gonna need um, from what I was watching is the sm okay power and wires uh, where is it at tools and simple machines conveyor belts where is it at it's like a furnace of sorts um, crude blast for oh, okay here we go coke oven okay coke oven is the first important machine you'll need to create in order to proceed hey good that's the first thing I was looking for uh, its functionality is simple. It will heat up coal or blocks of coal without supplying it with oxygen, creating coal coke, a carbon-rich fuel. More importantly, this process creates creo creosote oil, uh, which is used as a preservative for wood. Similarly, you can also burn wooden logs into charcoal with this oven, albeit a smaller yield of creosote. All right, so I know the first... Okay, it's right here. Uh, to form a coke oven, arrange 27 blocks in a 3x3x3, three by three by three, and the I get two blocks from clay, brick, and sandstone. Okay, this is the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to make a redstone furnace. Um, I still haven't done it, and I don't know why, but uh, yeah, we need a redstone furnace, but I want a basic machine. Yeah, there we go. So we'll do you. Well, let me, do I have any before I start doing all this? Nope. Oh, but I just cooked up some glass. Ha! I need a glass. What did I need glass for? I need a glass for something. All right. So there's the machine frame. Redstone furnace. Okay. Um, I need some bricks. Spelting clay. Oh well, yeah. No kidding. Um, I have clay, right? Or do I need to make some? I have ten pieces of clay. I need 27 <laughs> times 2 is so 28 so I need 14 um, which means I'm going to need well I'm, gonna need, I'm thinking about the uh, the coke oven um, I'm gonna need a lot of clay well good thing good thing good thing I have dust right I have three pieces of dust that's it <sighs> okay let's go make some sand um, let's just basically okay you're off but you are going to get turned on right now. Um, oh, where's... How do I do this? Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to break you off so no more cobblestone goes in. And then we're just going to do that. And we're going to make some sand. 
and then you're gonna go down yeah there we go orange there we go you're gonna go down here and make some sand and then we'll take the dust and put it back up top cool and then we'll have plenty um, let me get oh yeah well this is pretty quick we're gonna get a pretty decent yield um, oh yeah because I got my wand and then I'll have the dust so yeah we'll, we'll have a decent yield I just want to get part of it started and you know while I'm doing this I, I thought you know decoratively I wanted to make it kind of look like an industrial area so I want to make some iron bars and uh, I mean a lot of iron bars we're gonna we're gonna make this look crazy I have so much iron now by the way um, oh I didn't even think about it because I've been using it so much I finally got my draconic chest right so everything that comes up, it just auto smelts, and then I get just all these beautiful ores and stuff, or uh, ingots, and then I just come over here and throw them in here, and then I'm so happy. I don't need the fruit bait right now. I don't need that right now. Get the rest of the stuff out of here, and it's just it's nonstop. But I don't think I bet I haven't been yielding anything in a while. So, anyways, huge inventory in this chest, huge. And then anything that can smelt automatically fill auto populates down here and you can see it's got a full charge or whatever and then it just starts smelting and it's oh it's so nice and it's got a crafting table too so if I need to craft anything like these iron ingots I can make some fence like so it's awesome I, I am so in love with that chest that is I really want to dip into that mod too but you know I'm trying to pace everything out because I do want to record when I'm trying you know checking out new stuff or whatever and so, well, I think you guys get the picture. Um, oh, sand into dust. Oh, hey, I thought I... No, no, what are you doing? Stop the nonsense. You shouldn't be ejecting. You should not be ejecting. Stop the nonsense, yes. My goodness, I needed that beautiful sand. I, I, I have no room for anything else. This is all full. Yeah, it's got somewhere to go. Oh, I made a snowman too. I don't know if I did that while I was uh, recording or not, but I made a snowman for fun. One, I got a chance cube and it says, like, do you want to build a snowman? I said, yes, I do. And so I did. All right. So clay, clay, clay. Let me get out um, dust here. And then I'm going to get out my wand. I don't remember if I, I don't remember when I do this stuff. I made a hand of ender. Uh, which accesses my ender chest um, It's located in my Batania area. I don't know if I ever like I forget the things I mentioned it. Oh That's right. I can't do that. I need a bucket too. Wait, do I have a bucket in here? I don't have a bucket in there. I Was like I don't need a bucket anymore. I've got my little uh, wand of the sea, but apparently I still need a bucket Actually, you know what? I can put my wand away for right now. All right, so Here's my technique for making clay. Um, I don't need my dirt wand. I need my water wand. Water wand. Here we go. Pretty fast and quick. Water. Bucket. In here. Bink, bink. Water. Bucket. In here. Bink, bink. And this is what I do for long periods of time when I need something repetitive. And yes, I have done this multiple times, uh, making soul sand, making nether wart, or not nether wart, uh, nether rack. I just stand above my barrels and go to town. Yep. This is redundant. All right. But I've got that. Let me go ahead and set all these down real quick. This should give me a decent uh, amount of clay to start and just break all you there we go and I'm gonna cook up like half of you I think um, I don't remember how many bricks well let's see I needed four times four I need 28 bricks that's what I needed and then oh well no I needed another eight for the um, let's put it all in there I need another eight for <coughs> the redstone uh, 
uh, furnace. So let me go grab more dust. Grab you. Grab you. Hey, where'd the dust go? You didn't... No! You're not sieving dust, are you? No, you're sieving sand. Where'd all my dust go? Where did it all go? Is it like backed up in the pipes? Hold on. Hold up. Where did all my dust go? I need that dust. I need it. I need it now. Oh, great. I gotta grab my hammer and disconnect all this stuff. Oh, that was just a freaking pain in the yin yang. Woo! Careful. Uh, disconnect, disconnect, disconnect and disconnect and disconnect that's okay oh it all went straight in oh my god I just burned it all up it all went straight into the freaking it, sh it shouldn't have gone through though if I turn that side off oh well I should have enough <laughs> I should have enough to get this coke oven um dust all right and so this is actually pretty cheap and easy I mean if you really think about it it's really not costing me anything but a little bit of mana and uh, I, I as you can see I'm about a quarter to a third of the way full on my mana so it's not a big deal and here we go all right and the brick should be just about done 13 is more than enough to do what I need to do all right so I need I'll just put you back in there one brick two brick and you go away and I'm gonna give you away and we'll put you away for right now and I need to break you down I love this vein miner it makes stuff so much faster although it does burn your hunger really fast um, redstone furnace um, already got the machine frame what am I doing um, Copper gears. That I don't have. Hey. You, you, like that. One, two. I know I got plenty of metal now. I will never have to worry about metals or redstone. I got plenty of redstone too. There we go. Furnace done. And, uh, well, we'll just set you right here for right now. Although I don't think it's going to matter because I already cooked up all the bricks. So that really was kind of redundant. Um, coke. I need to make these guys coke brick. Okay. Oh, I need to make the sandstone. I don't have any sand. Um, I have gravel though. And let me get my hammer. I'm not using those machines again. They upset me now, and so I'm just going to bypass them. Hammer. Let me go ahead and put my water wand away and my bucket away. Gravel. And here we go with this again, because it's not like I don't do this enough. Um, I'm going to need 14 sandstone, which means I'm going to need... 52 sand is that right sounds about right um, that's gonna be enough all right I'll clean up take the sand make the oh 15 sandstone hey look at that okay coke oven like so. One, two, 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 four, six. I need more brick. Oh, I need a lot more brick and I need a lot more clay, don't I? I need more dust. Ha! Huh. Okay, I'm going to pause right here because let's be honest, we don't need to spend another 10 minutes watching this. We'll be right back. Alright, so 
I got a lot done. Hopefully, I got enough. Um, let's see. I've got 16 of them. I've got 34 of these bricks. Th I think this should be enough. I think this should be enough. I need, what, 27, right? Which means I'm going to make 28. Well, I made 30. Cool. So we had that one. I just ran out of sandstone. All right. There's also a, th uh, there's a hammer I have to make. Oh, so this hemp. I want to go plant this real quick. Um, I remember the hemp seed. I remember getting that. And um, I'm going to need a hoe because we're just going to go plant this lowly seed over there until I figure out where we're going to put the farm for this stuff. Oh, sorry. Okay, and I've got my wands. I've got water. Let me just throw these bricks in here. Okay, so we've got enough to get started. The hammer. What? Is, I, I don't know the hammer. Um, material deposit, graphite shaders, introduction ores, or processing alloys, metal plates, where is the hammer? Construction. Uh, treated wood. What's the treated wood about? I'm just kind of curious while I'm looking at it. Um, wood becomes treated wood planks. I wonder if that just makes them oh, well, highly durable, but I wonder if it makes them flame retardant. I don't know. Oh, this is what you make all the decorative stuff out of. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to want to know that because I'm going to have a whole lot of decorations done before the next episode. All right. So here we go. The hammer. Let me just look up hammer. Okay, so I just finished uh, cooking up all the coke brick, and I thought about one thing. I remember seeing it before. Yes, the hemp seed, and I made a comment about that. Um, I want to go plant those because I have a feeling we're going to need them. And yes, and then what do I need? Uh, that, that, I got that. The hammer. Okay, there's a hammer that is part of the mod, and when I see it, I'll know it. Or, or maybe I won't. Is that it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, okay, I can do that. All right, because... Uh, ham, ham? Okay. Okay, if you say so. All right, so we're going to head over and get this Coke oven set up. And um, once we get the Coke oven set up, I might just set up the outside perimeter with the iron bars really quick. I may not even finish that. Um, but I have a feeling I'm going to put you back here in the corner. So let's see, let's do this. Well, let me go plant that seed real quick. I've got water close by somewhere, right? Um, water's, I don't have a water source block anymore because, oh, but the sprinkler I think makes it so you don't need a water source block, even if it's not working. I don't know, let me see, do I have any bones in here? These guys are dying constantly, so there might be some bones in the meantime. Nope. Are there any bones in here? Ah ha ha, yes. Bone meal it up. There we go. Alrighty. You're mature? Okay. So, do I just right click you? Or do I break you? Okay, okay. Got some of this hemp rope. And now I got two hemp seeds. We'll make a little bit more, just because I can, and I've got it in my hand. All right, and we will get this party started. Um, I can't plant these anywhere else. Oh, let me plant them right here. Just a little more planting, and then we will get the coke oven, and then I want to go get that other part done. Um, yeah, we'll just grow you real quick so I don't forget about you. So I see you sticking out of the ground when I come by. And I will start a hemp rope farm later <coughs> but anyways for the coke oven it's just a three by three by three. Oh, the book is really cool check this out so I know it's got a lot of like you know multi-block structures and stuff like that so I thought that was pretty cool I went and checked in like construction um, multi-block construction where was the coke oven at over zoom resource coke oven okay so as you go through like right if you click on it, it actually shows you how to build it. Now, this one's very simple because it's a three by three or whatever, but it shows you like block, 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 and it's just, I think that's really cool. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, I'm gonna count because, you know, counting to three is difficult. You can, po it, it is possible to miscount to three. All right, and then the hammer. Oh, that looks so cool. All right. 
and then suppose that you put coal in here and um, it does other stuff let me see if I have any coal um, I know I've got some let me get on my fast track here can hurry up but Tanya I have some coal I want to get that started real quick just to make sure everything's working right you know what's the fun of making something if you're not going to use it oh the hammer works like other hammers okay cool um, I'm gonna grab one piece of coal and one block of coal and let's get our momentum going again on this fast track that is so cool the belt and the sand all together make me move so quickly all right so then do I just throw you in there okay so I just throw you in there and you just do your thing I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is like a progress bar and then the stuff will come out here and then I'll get that oil that it's talking about over here I don't know I don't know but uh, let's let's set up a little perimeter real quick how I want to do this I want it to be very industrialized so let me move you and grab a torch because I'm gonna knock this torch out real quick alright so we're gonna go ahead and just put you right along here and these are gonna be like tall fences I may actually end up changing the style of iron because you know make it look more like a fence or something like that but this this whole mod very classic looking stuff like it's got like power lines and that's really what I want I think it's a really cool mod just I mean honestly just for that purpose is why I was so excited about it was because everything looks like power lines so you can run power without all that thermal dynamics or thermal expansion stuff where it looks all crazy um, hey you know what We'll come back and do that later. Well, guys, <clears throat> I was heading over here to do that thermal lily farm, and I kind of realized we're at 27 minutes right now, and uh, so I, I had a little interruption, and I had to stop uh, recording for a second. But um, I realized that uh, yeah, the the video's just gotten a little bit long, and we will eventually. The holes are raining. We will eventually get more done, but uh, we've already done quite a bit of Batania, so. No need to sit there and watch me make the farm. It'll work. We'll probably see in a future episode. So until then, guys, I am Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.